Hi there. I'm here today in the churchyard of St Cuthbert's in the centre of the city of Edinburgh and St Cuthbert's has the claim to being the oldest Christian site in the city of Edinburgh. As the name suggests, St Cuthbert's goes back to the foundation of St Cuthbert. St Cuthbert would have come here around the mid-650s AD when he was based at Old Melrose where he had been training under the mentorship of, of, of Boisel and this was in the north of the kingdom of Northumbria. Edinburgh had been taken into Northumbria in the year 637 and if I turn around just behind me you'll see how close I am to the castle of Edinburgh up there on the castle rock and this castle was taken in 637 by forces loyal to King Oswald who had taken back the kingdom for, from uh, the, 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 the pagan Britons in 634 and founded, Ion and founded uh, Lindisfarne which had been founded out of Iona by Aidan in 634. Now Edinburgh at that time had been in the, the hold of the Godothin, uh, a British tribe and it was taken in 637 as I say by forces loyal to Oswald and it was brought into uh, the kingdom of Northumbria which therefore stretched from the Humber right in the south of Yorkshire, south of Yorkshire, right up here to the River Forth and it became part of Oswald's kingdom. Uh, it's actually possible that the city at his time was renamed Edwinsburg, Edwinsburg. Now there's some debate over this and many scholars would say there's no way it could be Edwinsburg, but actually Edwin was the first Christian king of Northumbria and he was the uncle of Oswald. And so it would have been quite a, a, a plausible idea for the city to be renamed. And in fact, later on in the 1100s, uh, in the writings of the presenter of Durham Cathedral, uh, Simeon of Durham, writes about, about records in, from the year 854, which actually were uh, mentioning Edwinesburg as the name of this city at that time under Northumbrian king. So Cuthbert would have come here to this place uh, and he would have founded a prayer house in the mid 650s. Why would he come here? Why this part? Why not up on the Castle Rock? Well, he came here because there was a spring nearby at the corner of the King's Garden. And the spring would have been a place where people gathered to uh, meet, to draw their water, and a place where he could connect with people. And so it was here he came and founded possibly this church, possibly certainly a prayer house, and where he taught to the people about Jesus, about the love of Christ, about their need of him. Uh, actually, just up the road at Abercorn, uh, not, not far from here in the shores of the Forth, is where later the Northumbrians established their northernmost outpost uh, of Lindisfarne. But this was probably a minster that served the, other, that, that served the area where people were based. The church was obviously uh, well established even in 1127 when King David gave the, the church to the, uh, to the monks of Holyrood. And so there's been a church here certainly from that time and certainly has connections with Cuthbert and is probably his foundation. It's a great place to come to ponder on the fact that Cuthbert came all this way. He probably came up the, the remains of Deer Street, the old Roman road that came from Old Melrose, right up through, over Sutra and down uh, into Lothian uh, and finished not far from here. Uh, and he probably used that. This would have been all forested at that time. It would have been quite a challenging place to come to, but it's said that Cuthbert loved a challenge. He loved to go to the places where others wouldn't go. And so he came here to this point, and this is where he told people about Jesus. So thank you, Father, for those who come, those who come before us to bring the good news. Thank you for Cuthbert who came to this place and who brought the news of Jesus, and not only the news of Jesus, but the power of Jesus in healing and in restoration of people's lives. And today, Lord, we're thankful for that and ask you to anoint us with the same spirit that anointed Cuthbert and Aidan and these others in those times, that we can continue their work. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.